This video brought to you by Sonic Hip Hop. Com. Sonic with a K. We can talk more about if it. If I may ask, do you know who this is? This is Abir Hamza. Have Excuse you ever me? heard of? No, have I'm you sorry. ever heard of her? You served in Iraq, correct? I did. Yes. She was tortured to death by your forces five years before you arrived there. People sometimes criticize me for well doing this, asking an ambush interview question when the question recipient may not know the answer. Personally, I think the fact that they might not know the answer is relevant if they're public officials. But in any case, let me address that concern by presenting in advance a question that I'm about to ask. If you're not watching, that's not my fault. Mr. McLean, how are you? What is your salary, if I might ask? Stop it. It's a matter of record. It's published in the news. Why did you touch me, if I might ask? I'm oh, sorry. I thought you were my face. But I have some questions for keen bureaucrats. I guess the next time I see them, I will ask them. Or maybe if you get to them first, you can ask them. But uh, it has to do with a, a really a serious safety concern that I have related to the, the Keene jail. The folks at FreeKeene.com have done something awesome. Uh, this uh, this month. Not everything they do is awesome, but I think this is awesome. They have taken a crisis and tried to turn it into an opportunity. As you know, Keen act I think he's a Keen activist, Rich Paul, has been uh, found guilty of multiple drug, quote-unquote, crimes. He could get up to 81 years in jail. And instead of just taking this, the Keen activists have... Uh, decided to start having a weekly demonstration outside the jail. Now, this isn't going to change a huge amount of stuff all by itself, but at least they're doing something. And they're doing something that really hardly anyone can criticize. However, uh, in the process of doing this, they are going to be placing themselves at some physical risk. And this is the bureaucrat's fault. Shortly after constructing this new Big Pig, as it's called, the new jail uh, for the Keene area. Area bureaucrats pulled a fast one on activists. Now, folks who have opposed victimless crime laws in Keene have regularly demonstrated at not why well, regularly is not the right word, but there have been there have been frequent demonstrations before 2010 at the old jail. In, in the Keene area. Hack activists uh, simply treated the, the old jail sort of like it was the city of Jericho and they surrounded, they would march around the walls basically. They were never interrupted or interfered with even, or rarely interfered with, even if they were on jail property. But shortly after authorities constructed the new jail, um, you know, activists did yet another demonstration, uh, you know, marched around the jail as normal. Uh, it was just in a new location. Well, without providing sufficient warning, we got someone else down at the bottom. Authorities just arrested them all one day. Then they used their uh, the pro local pro government media to promulgate the idea that these arrests had tied down officers when they were needed for other safety related events. It was all, of course, the activists' fault, even though the authorities chose to do the arrest and didn't have to do the arrest, and didn't even give activists a chance to back down. To me, it was probably one of the ten most scandalous things that Keene bureaucrats have ever done in my time watching Keene. Anyway, this resulted in a new paradigm for people who want to protest at the jail. If you want to protest there, there's only now a very narrow strip of land where you can do it. The local property owner, who's right across the street, will not let activists park on his property. He would probably intervene if you tried to stand on his property. He's definitely not letting people park there. Uh, just the two of us for now. Anyway, a sandwiched between uh, this property owner and a jail that will arrest you if you step on its property, possibly, you have to demonstrate basically right next to the, the the racing automobiles. They want to make sure that they're 
very few accidents that are going to make them look bad. That's why they forced us onto this small area that we we're allowed to protest <laughs> right in front of all these turning cars. Anyway, now that Liberty Folk are demonstrating their weekly, the risk of a major accident is increasing exponentially. Maybe even more than exponentially. Van Wickler ought to articulate a buffer zone or a property or the property owner should let folks park there on a humanitarian basis because parking is also an issue at these demonstrations. It's very difficult to park. You end up having to park in a place that's maybe a little bit more, I don't know, open to traffic. You know, someone could run into your vehicle. The next time I bump into Van Wickler, I'll ambush interview him about this, but that could be years. I don't contact bureaucrats by phone generally, so uh, it may be up to you the next time you see him. And why not rent a camera when you ask? I mean, th these arrests had a huge chilling effect on the ability of protesters to stand in safe areas. On a humanitarian basis, Van Wickler should authorize some area, appropriate area, where people can be seen and can be safe. Let them be there without getting arrested. The problem in my mind is not so much the fact that you can be arrested for being on jail property. The problem is the uncertainty and the ambiguity. And of course, the, the surprise nature of the arrest in 2010. If you're going to hurt people, it's twice as bad when you hurt them without warning. And there probably will be no warning when that one vehicle veers off course and perhaps turns Van Wickler into a negligent homicide accessory. This video brought to you by SonicHipHop.com Sonic with a K <laughs> Hip Hop and Urban Media Production for the Liberty Community Vids, Graphics, Top Quality Tunes The Humble Riddler Report can't even begin to do justice to their quality so check them out where they are SonicHipHop.com Sonic with a K <laughs>